Hi, my name is Dave McDonald. I am the production manager here at Bakun Musical. Behind me is our EDM machine, our electrical discharge machine. We use it to cut our titanium tube for the clarinet bodies. The EDM cuts parts by running an electrical current through brass wire, which is submerged underwater. Think of it as a hot knife cutting through butter. Originally, this machine was acquired to cut intricate keywords with precision accuracy. However, we use it for many other functions too. We start with this titanium tube. We end up with these titanium rings. The rings end up in this clarinet body right here. So after the design process, we input all of the code right here. So the thing about our mouthpiece is unlike other manufacturers, we don't use a pre-made mold for everything. We actually use a solid billet of material. So what that allows us to do is have complete control over all the geometry that is important on a mouthpiece. Tip, rails, the internal cavity, we have complete control with the multiple axes at our disposal in this machine right here. Coon Musical employs several large and very expensive CNC, or computer numeric control machines. The machine used in the manufacturing of our popular barrels is a joint lathe and milling machine with two spindles, the part that holds the actual piece being cut. Here we're making a 66 millimeter Coca-Bolo Fat Boy barrel. Notice how the part is being passed from the sub-spindle on the right to the main spindle on the left. This allows us to craft the barrel with a single point cutter as opposed to the traditional reamer used by other manufacturers. Precision, accuracy, and a beautiful finish set the Coon products apart. This is our Swiss machine. It is highly accurate like a Swiss watch. It allows us to manufacture in-house our posts and tubes. Swiss watchmakers are renowned for their multitasking abilities, as they don't typically make watches on an assembly line. Each watchmaker makes the watch from start to finish, same with this machine. Always thinking about the environment, this machine is built to recycle all of the coolant used, as well as the metal scrap that is removed during the manufacturing process. This machine is equipped with a bar feed, a long piece attached to the right of the machine, giving it lights out capabilities, meaning it can run nearly 24 hours a day without an operator. After the parts have been machined, they roll onto the conveyor belt and then into the parts box. Typically, you run thousands of parts at once. Pretty cool, isn't it? 